Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my review of Glen Keith Distillery Edition. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my review of Glen Keith Distillery Edition. Glen Keith is a Scottish distillery from the Speyside region and this particular whiskey retails for £30. It's most likely coloured and chill filtered and it's 40% ABV. This particular whiskey just says it's in traditional oak cast, so most likely just bourbon, but it doesn't actually specify. Its parent company is Pernod Ricard, so it may sometimes or always be found in Pernod Ricard blends like Shivers, etc. Shall we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. So before I start nose and tasting, let's have a quick look at the color. I'd say that's like an old gold, but as I mentioned, it's most likely colored as it doesn't actually specify. Let's start with the nose. Right, so the first thing I get with this is like, it's like a heather honey sort of note, nice and sweet, but there is a tang to it. And it reminds me of um, rhubarb and custard sweets. Yeah, it really is nice. I'm getting lots of vanilla, caramel, reminds me a bit of creme brulee. And there's also like a hint of white wine, really is, um, yeah, slight sort of whiny note to this. Let's move on to the palette. Yeah, so this one is very soft to start. When you first put it in your mouth and you move it around a bit, it's like nothing's really going on. And then you get sweet brown sugar, you get a little bit of white pepper, so there is a little bit of heat, which is nice. You get lots and lots of vanilla, you get caramel, you get toffee. Really is lovely and sweet. And where it does start soft, it just suddenly ramps up and you get all these flavors you get that heat and it's like yeah it's like something's just it's almost like a soft explosion something's just happened in your mouth after sort of a short time of nothing really happening let's have another sip so Having another sip, all of those flavors start to build. It's a lovely sweet whiskey. And I'm also getting um, like an apple note, but not like apples, more like synthetic sort of apple candies, sort of apple sweets. It's that sort of uh, flavor. In terms of finish, I'm getting vanilla. I'm getting a little bit of chili pepper as it leaves a, a, a nice lingering tingle and little oak and i'd say this is a medium finish as it does sit there on the palette for some time in terms of value well i got this as a present for father's day from my youngest son and well i was expecting to be disappointed but if i had to pay 30 pounds for this i would probably i would probably leave it but it's often on sale for around £20. And I think at the 20, 25 pound mark for a non-A statement, uh, single malt like this, I think it's actually good value. It's a really good starter whiskey. It's great to start your evening, or it's a great sharing dram. As you can see, there's a decent amount left, uh, sorry, there's a decent amount gone from this bottle. And it was because I shared it with family and it went down really well. It really is a quaffable and drinkable whiskey. And although it doesn't have much going on, those sweet flavors are lovely. And I definitely keep reaching for it. If it was on sale, I'd probably go and buy another bottle. But if it wasn't, I'd leave it alone. If this sounds up your street, I'll put a link in the description as always. And if for whatever reason this isn't up your street, well, hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Sauncha. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? 
and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.